Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, we will going to learn how to correctly set the trip setting of motor overload relay according to the NEC standard. In most of the countries, we followed this standard for the electrical power systems. So let us first see the definition of overload current. So overload current is any current that is flowing in the circuit which is higher than the motor's normal full load current. It means that the load which is driven by the motor is more than the power rating of the motor or there is some abnormality with the motor which causes the motor to draw more current than the rated current. So definitely this overload current is a slow process and this is dangerous for the life of the motor as well as the whole circuit which is connected to that motor. Whereas the overcurrent refers to the short circuit or the ground fault current which describes a sharp and the fast rise in the current over a very short period of time. So this is the main difference between the overload and the overcurrent. So this is an image of the overcurrent relay. This is the version which can be directly coupled to the contactor. There is another version of the overcurrent relay which is an electronic relay that will be installed separately with the contactor. Now according to the NEC clause 430.32 it states that for the continuous duty motors with the service factor on the nameplate of 1.15 or more or with a nameplate temperature rise of 40 degrees C shall have the overload device size at no more than 125% of the motor's nameplate current rating. So I have talked about the motor service factor. So this is the percentage of the overloading the motor can handle for the short period of time. So it means that according to this clause, those motors which are allowed to run at 115% of its rated power will be protected with an overload device which is sized at no more than 125% of its full load current. All other motors that have a service factor of 1 will have the overload devices sized at no more than 115% of the motor's full load ampere. So in order to size the overload relay, you first have to see the service factor on the nameplate and also the allowable temperature rise and according to that you will accordingly set the motor's overload relay. Now as an example we have a motor whose service factor is 1.15 and its full load ampere is 24.5. Now the service factor is 1.15 it means that the overload factor will be 125% of the full load ampere which is equal to 30.625. Now the standard overload device comes with 30 amps so we will select the 30 amp rating on the overload protection device because the rating cannot exceed 125% of the full load ampere. So this thing needs to be very carefully set. So if you cannot find the current rate, exact current rating of the overload relay then you will select the relay with the next lower setting from the maximum current. So I hope you clearly understand how to correctly set the overload relay for the motors. For more interesting videos, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.